Do you want the good news or the bad news? You like me? You like the bad news first? Okay. Bad news is I'm going down to one video a week. I cannot keep up right now with everything going on in my life and so I just got to go down to one video and I felt like the quality of my videos was kind of it was starting to suck a little bit so <laughs> I feel like if I go down to one video it will I'll be able to um, keep everything you know relevant for you guys and um, sometimes to keep things short you have it takes more time in a way I don't know Anyway, don't worry, there's still going to be masks, there's still going to be science, there's still going to be skincare, and um, what my hope is, is that they're going to be a little bit more like the way my Mask at Mondays were heading, where it was a little bit vlog, a little bit skincare, a little bit just chit chat, and um, yeah, just a little bit more fun, I guess. Because when I'm sitting there editing videos of just watching myself talk, I get really bored, and so you know <laughs> it's got to be creative for me and just sitting there watching myself talk is not fun so <laughs> um yeah but like i said don't worry and so now with further ado let's wrap up the month okay my favorites were my two beloved skincare products i've been using the garden of wisdom eternal youth elixir as well as the earthwise beauty carrot a day face and eye serum i have been using these two products as well as some jojoba oil for about six weeks these um three things have all been consistent and my skin has just really transformed just this has been a very effective combo for me and so let's talk a little bit about this product first so I got this from Garden of Wisdom in a giveaway it was like a naming giveaway my submission was Garden of Youth and so they chose eternal youth elixir and so the lady that had submitted eternal something they gave her one too so it's got a liposome base which is really cool because this type of base allows the ingredients to become encapsulated and thereby being better absorbed into your skin and they can actually be held there in the skin longer. So very cool base and it's also very moisturizing. So it's it's unique and I, I'm, I'm a believer. Then it's got a spring water infusion of broccoli sprouts, grapeseed, green tea. So you've got tons of antioxidants in this product. It's got hyaluronic acid, and then it's got two peptide complexes. Then it's got a blend of ceramides, niacinamide, alpha-lipoic acid, a preservative, reverestrol, and superoxide dismutase. Let's talk about these peptide ingredients. So here's the thing, um, kind of that I've been learning about the cosmetics industry, is there are these companies, similar to the way that pharmaceutical companies will make a drug, there are companies that will make these preparations of peptides or other ingredients, and then you just buy that and use it in your products. So a lot of companies in any range of the price point can be using the same peptide complex. Now, if you're familiar with Garden of Wisdom or their website, you know there's not a lot of pump and circumstance. So this product retails for one ounce in an airless pump, $74. Yes, that's very pricey for Garden of Wisdom. Because these ingredients are very well known, you can actually go to the company's website that makes them and look up all the different studies and read about how effective they are. So I'll link some of that info below. But here's the thing, you can get a sample of this product for $14. So if you're interested in trying it, um, you can. So in the Matrixel 3000, there are two peptides, these two, and they work together to stimulate and build collagen. This Syncol is another type of peptide that also works on building and preventing the degradation of collagen. Then remember, it's got a blend of ceramides. So 
I have really noticed my skin firmness increase. Now remember, I've been using this twice a day for six weeks. I can tell you I have noticed a difference in the firmness of my skin. And also that my skin has decreased in sensitivity. I'm now able to scrub my face with something like the Mochi Polish that I, I would not have been able to use back in January of this year. It has made my skin feel in tactile and texture, similar to like my mid-20s. In my mid-20s, I could use the Acure Brightening Scrub, no problem, every day. But in the past couple of years, I couldn't let anything like that touch my face. However, after using this product, as well as a combination of this product, because this product, you can't forget, also has carrot seed oil in it, so it's got tons of vitamin A. You know, I've really seen my skin transform with this combination. My barrier feels extremely strong. When I go out and sweat, and I can really feel the tone and texture of my skin, I'm telling you, it's, it's really like actual visible difference, more so than a lot of other products that I've used. Discovering the need for skin hydration was a huge turning point for me, and I can say that this product, um, in combination with this product, has been another huge turning point. So I want to tell you, you can get a sample of this for $14 on Garden of Wisdom's website. If you do want to try it, um, you only need one pump. Here's what it looks like. Whoops. Rubs in really nicely. So let me tell you, if you do get a sample of it, let me recommend to you how to, to use it. Put your toner on, pat it in, or use a cotton round, whatever you do. Allow your toner to slightly dry, then apply this product. Then before you apply anything else, allow it to dry. It forms almost like a moisturized film on your face, not in an uncomfortable or weird way. A very nice seal it has on it. Then, like I said, allow that to dry before you put anything else on top of it. I've played with it a lot of different ways and I found it to be most effective when you allow it to form that film and dry almost on your face and then apply more product. So, purchases for the month. I purchased this Moon on a Rose Toner to replace this one. Empty, newbie, empty, newbie. And then I also purchased... Wah, wah, wah. This is another peptide product. Now, he's got three different types of peptides in here. Remember, peptides can do a lot of things. They're small chains of amino acids. They have numerous purposes in the body, and they also have a lot of different purposes in skincare. So remember, there are like the Garden of Wisdom serums, peptides, which are collagen producers, stimulators. Now, in this Jordan Samuel product, they also, he has this one called acetyl hexapeptide that can also be known as argiline. They call it Botox in a jar. It's very well known to be extremely effective. And the way that one works is it prevents muscle contraction. So we talked about in the, that in the peptides video, but it's like normally your face would do this and you can see all my wrinkles. But when you have Botox, obviously that skin, those muscles under there aren't gonna move. So two of the peptides, uh, when I looked them up, they, mi they might have more purposes or more functions, but when I looked them up just online, that's what they told me, is that the acetyl hexapeptide 8 and this other one, octopeptide 3, they both have Botox qualities, i.e. they are peptides that prevent muscle contraction. Then there's this other one that's very interesting. And this one really helps the skin cells to prevent the breakdown of their DNA. Um, so it keeps the skin looking younger, prolongs the cell life. Jordan Samuel on his Instagram page said it stimulates fibroblast cells. So he's got a really nice blend of anti-aging ingredients in here. He calls it a cream serum. And so I would definitely agree. It is very much not a moisturizer in my opinion, unless you're mixing it with his other products, which is what's really cool about this, is that it plays really nicely with the Hydrate and his oil. I've also noticed that it works really well with the jojoba oil. I've tried it one time, so this is definitely just the first impressions, me showing you how it appears on the skin. 
but when I say that it mixes as well with the other products, that's really nice to know when you're a skincare junkie and you're doing multiple steps in a routine that a product's not gonna pill up or separate or just overall a step in your routine that's not gonna play nicely with your other ingredients. So that's what's really nice so far about this product. Okay, so the other ingredients that he's got in here are green tea water, squalane, vegetable glycerin, jojoba esters, sunflower seed wax, the peptides, olive leaf extract, some more wax, phenooxyethanol per preservative. You know, he likes to say he's not a green beauty, but he formulates awfully clean. So that's what's really exciting about this product. I think it was $38 for two ounces. So you've heard of Shop Your Stash. Well, I've pretty much eliminated my stash. Um, but have you heard of Shop Your Mom's Stash of stuff that you gave her? Last Christmas, I gave her this Wabi Sabi um, Dead Sea Salt Scrub. I went over to her house and I found it still in her bathroom and I took it back. So that's a nice salt scrub I'll have to play with. I finished this Gressa Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation. It lasted me nine plus months. Holla! People want to say that this product is expensive. It's a it's an investment, however, it lasted nine plus months of me using it four to five times a week. That is not expensive in my opinion. I think that is a very well formulated product. Anyway, I went over to my mom's house and I bought her hers at the same time that I bought mine and she's still got three fourths of it left and so what did I do but take it right back. She knew I was taking it. Okay, don't, don't get all worried. She knew. That's just how it works with moms. You go over and shop their stashes too. Anyway, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. Um, and so I just had to take it back. So anyway, that was this video, guys. I hope you're doing well, and I will see you next Monday. Bye.